this morning, it's Sunday, but I had a very interesting uh, comment this morning from a chap out in Sri Lanka. Is uh, 300 TDI is overheating? Nothing new there. <laughs> but <laughs> he did an interesting experiment. And I'm sort of going to go one step further and trying to do it uh, to show you. And what the idea is, his Land Rover was overheating and he tried three thermostats and they were all exactly the same results. But what was the problem? Well, here we have the thermostat housing. Now this is off the scrap G-Wagon or Garner Wagon. And uh, this is all pitted round here, round here. All this is, it's knackered. He wants a new one, you know. But it gives us a golden opportunity to find out and try and answer a problem for Mr. Sri Lanka. He'll probably send me some tea. Um, these thermostats have um, a bypass valve in here, not a heart bypass, but this goes back into the water pump and circulates water around so it'll suck water out of here and go around here. Now once the thermostat opens in here that bypass is shut off and then water goes this way. So during startup it goes this way and it makes the engine warm up quicker apparently. But he said when he was doing his experiment the valve wasn't shutting off correctly. There was a gap. Now he was playing around with plastic and nylon things like this and I, it got me curious and I thought, well look, we've got a scrap on here because this one's toast. What if I were to cut this open and have a look, maybe maybe here, cut, cut a section out of it and have a look and see what happens to this when we simulate hot water with um, a hot air gun for example. Now obviously we can't use hot water and we won't be able to do a very accurate temperature reading but what we want to see is it opening and closing and does it actually shut off the valve? It should, shouldn't it? Because if it doesn't, why bother putting it on? Or is it just a restrictor? Hmm. Let me take this to pieces and let's cut it up. That'll be fun. Okay. You have to laugh at those old Garner chaps. I, I know I've been sandblasting this just to see what the condition is. But when I took the, the end cover off, look at all the silicone in it. No wonder it was no wonder it'll overheat, look. Look at it all. The bloody thermostats, it's all bloody choked up. God knows what's behind it. Ah, it's just typical, isn't it? Typical. Let's get that out. That thermostat out and see if we can make anything up. Oh here it comes out, look. Oh, damn it. Look at all this, look at all this, look, look, look. And you know why that is, don't you? I'll blast it and I'll show you. So, why did they use silicone on the thermostat? <laughs> Look at that. Look how corroded it is. See what I mean? Some people don't trust you think I'm trying to make money out of them. I said, you can't put that back on. Look at it, it's all corroded. The head was knackered, everything was knackered. That's why we had to strip the whole engine down. Dear me, eh? Now, I don't know if the thermostat works, but just as a, just for now, you, this is what I was talking about. This is the, the valve that's supposed to shut off the bypass. And when the thermostat opens this away, this is supposed to cover the valve at the end, like the uh, water passage, does it? Let me cut this up and let's find out. So here we go. What I've done is I've put the uh, thermostat elbow on backwards so that you can see this cutout quite clearly and I'm kind of excited about this so let's see how it goes um, oops. I'm going to use my uh, hot air gun to simulate uh, cooling if you can see that now this isn't the way you should test the thermostat but that's not the point we're not testing the thermostat we're actually testing if the valve closes. Moving. Moving. Can you see it? I bet you've never seen this before, eh? 
And there you go. It's closed. Did you like that? Can you see it there? Look, it's all closed. Oops, that's bloody warm. There you go. There, you can see it's completely closed. So, uh, I think that answers it with this little experiment. In fact, I think I'll use that for testing thermostats from now on. So as the, as the thermostat opens to let coolant come through, it shuts the bypass off. Hmm, that's very interesting. So, um, and I thought that the actual coolant was closed off by this piece hitting the end of the tube here, but it isn't. It hits the, the casting, if you see what I mean. You, you see what I mean? It's, it's, hitting, it's hitting the casting. Which is brilliant, so it's got a big surface area. So that hot water cannot go that way, it can only go that way. I hope you like that little experiment, it was just a cheap and cheerful one. And I'm doing the things so you don't have to do them. So perhaps your life's complete now and it's downhill after this. <laughs> Wait till the next one. Alright, I'm glad you like that and I hope you like it. And if you did like it, make the effort to give us an uptick. Because that's the first time I've ever said that. See you later. Ta-da! Mm -hmm.